me time, right? An afternoon art escape. Just three supplies needed here, ink, paper, and water, and you can lose yourself in the art of Japanese paper marbling. It's something you could do with even the bigger kids around the house. Melissa Esplin shares this art experience with us, and you've been practicing on our behalf this week, so yes. thank you so much. A little <laughs> trial and error. Tell yes. me what this is exactly. So it's called Suminagashi, which <laughs> is... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Suminagashi. Yeah. Suminagashi. Yes. It's sort of satisfying to say once you get it, but it's hard, it's suminagashi. So it's it's base of sumi ink. You okay. can use sumi ink. Suminagashi. Yeah, suminagashi. Suminagashi. Yeah, it's super fun. Um, we found that um, this Yasutomo sumi, like traditional Chinese ink, works really well. Okay. With, so basically, the ink floats on top of the water and allows you to make an impression with paper. And it creates this marbling effect that adds a lot of depth and texture. You it's could do it beautiful. for just like, a straight up art print. You could do suminagashi and just frame it once it dries. Now we're seeing just the gray, the blacks, the white. Does this come in color? You can buy kits in color on Amazon if you search suminagashi <laughs> or Japanese marbling. How would we spell that again? I'm gonna go with Japanese marbling. How about that? <laughs> yes, you can find kits and, um, but I just, I'm a black and white kind of girl. I was gonna say, I'm noticing that you're taken <laughs> to kind of the neutral, kind of the, the black and white classic yeah. look yeah. of this. Yeah, my house, it's like black and white little pops of orange. Okay, pretty. But, yeah, anyway. So modern, so sleek, so chic, so you. Yeah, so chic. <laughs> Who is that thing? <laughs> so chic for sure. Okay, we've got our tub of water. Big yes. tub? Big tub, so if you want, you can use it with sumi and um, like diluted soap. You wanna dilute the soap so it's like more water than soap. Like what kind of soap? Like. I use hand soap, dish soap, any okay. kind of soap. And you water that down before you? Before, yeah, so I've got Sumi in this little container and that's here. The ink, sumi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've got the soapy water. And okay. so it's really more water than soap. It's not a thick consistency at all. And sorry, you said you can get the colored ink on Amazon. What about the black ink? The black ink you get on Amazon, or my favorite is paperinkarts.com. Okay. Yeah, I love that place. So ink, diluted soap. Mm -hmm. More water than soap. Yes. And then cold water bath. The bigger the bath, you can actually use soap. But if it's a small bath, if you wanna do like a tiny bowl size, you know, and use small cards, mm -hmm. don't use soap. Okay. So just just drop the ink on cold there. Cold water, because I, I wanna get this get this right, because you did the trial and error testing yeah. for us this week. Cold water, if it's a big tub, use soap. If it's a small tub, skip the soap. Yes. And will that affect the outcome, big versus small, the outcome, the look of your paper? Um, You'll get bigger movement. Bigger swirls. Your, yeah, and you'll get like, just more marbling. See, you really? are chic. You say movement and I say swirls. <laughs> <laughs> swirls. Okay, now what? Let's go. So, I I get both of, I have two uh, two brushes. The smaller brush is for the soapy water, uh -huh. but you can use a big brush, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and then the big brush is for the, the sumi ink, but I want to get a little bit of water on there so when it touches, it's not just dumping too much ink. Okay. Um, this is exciting. Right? So I get both of them loaded up. This is a two-hand job. Uh-huh, uh -huh. And just first lay down some ink. Oh. See how oh, it spreads? Oh. And then you add the wa the soapy water. Oh, whatever. Isn't whatever. that cool? Yeah, it's super awesome. No, but I can't. Anyway, we can get higher on this. Here, we're gonna adjust our camera angle and ask you to do that again because this is so fun to see from up top. Hold on, stand by, here it comes. It's like creating almost a bullseye effect. Yeah, and you're getting these zebra stripes. Oh my gosh, can you do it again? Yes. Here comes Steve in with the camera. Get on top of this, Steve, look how cool. So you add the add the ink. What? And the, the longer you keep it on the surface, the bigger that ink will come out. What? <gasps> Stop it. Stop it's it. super fun. And you know what? You'll you'll find that the water, it moves these rings around. This is amazing. And so, if you're a perfectionist, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> okay, okay. But it's if not you like want... you're talking to one or anything. No, no, no. So, y you really, you're really getting happy accidents. Happy accidents. Uh, Kat's phrase around my house these days is my two-year-old daughter, Emmy, is, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I can just hear her saying that as I'm watching yes. you. What is happening? And you can, I mean, you can drop and do just like some funky things, add. So our producer was saying too, she's seen artists blow on uh -huh. the water to get a certain and design. And you can get, you can like blow it, <gasps> and it'll start to move things around a little bit. And it, it just went retro and you, on us. And you don't need to add a whole lot of movement to it in order for the movement. And like even by adding ink to the surface of the page, I'm moving the ink this way. Yeah. So I'm just. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. 
it's this just is so, cool. so satisfying. I could just sit here and watch this all day. So like this is super fun, especially like if your your kids are like love just like movement and shape and color. My producer is giving me They're the gonna move be... it along, sister. Okay, but so I could just sit and stare at this all day. You can add as much ink on this, and you know what? There's no time limit. You can kind of <gasps> let this sit as long as you, you know need how it some to. Some people really got into the cookie decorating videos mm -hmm. on Instagram a while yeah. ago. I could just. Similar to that, I could sit and just stare at you do that all day. Why is yeah. that so impressive? It's so fun. Why isn't the ink sinking? Because you're not, you're just barely touching the surface. Okay. And it's the type of ink that it just stays up okay. there. Okay. So I'm going to get a little piece of, um, <gasps> Suminagachi. Yes. And so the excess ink is going to run off and I'm going to be left with these tight zebra stripes. Yes. They come out. And the first run is super dark. Okay. okay. And I'm doing envelopes. Uh huh. But um, you can do anything. If you're going to do an envelope, hold the top flap. Don't let the flap get get wet. Okay. Okay. And you don't put it in all the way. You just Light, let it kiss lightly. the surface. Oh. Let it kiss the surface. So you're A getting these smooth. fun. Yeah. This is so cool. Isn't that fun? Can I try? Do yes, I dare please. try? Yes, please. Okay. You do try. Flap up and don't let it go all the way down. Yes. And when you do it, you say, Suminagachi. No, just kidding. Yes. I just made that part up. It sounds like half swear word, half sneeze. Okay. And please, please work. Oh, kind of. Isn't that awesome? Little corner. I did that on purpose. But see, okay, you I could didn't. put the address right here. Oh, see, okay. And then you let this kind of play a fun <gasps> role. And you can dip so many times. This is like a, a ghost. Right here, yes. so like it's after like 15, so you can do like a run of 15 envelopes, 20 envelopes. So once it one dries, go. I'm thinking the paper will be a little wonky. Do you yes. need a thicker envelope or a thicker paper to make this work? No, actually the thinner paper I found worked really well. Okay. And I iron it. What? Yes, you can iron paper. <laughs> You're so cool. How are you so cool? <laughs> I'm just, I was just born that way. <laughs> born that way. So, to um, borrow a line from wanna, Lady Gaga. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you want to put it underneath like some cotton. Okay. And I don't put it on my regular ironing board because the ironing board has like vents in it. It does. So then it leaves this buckled. So I put it on a flat surface. Do you like how I said that like I knew that? It does. Yes, of course. The ironing board has vents. So then you iron it. Yes. And then you flatten it out and then you can draw on it, now, letter on it. Fun to see the applications. You've got some great printables here. It'd be such a beautiful piece of artwork in your home. But we were chatting before the show. Melissa actually, here's how cool she really is. She has pen pals. <laughs> and you have one pen pal, like as in yeah. paper to pen, uh -huh. pen pal, in France, right? Yeah. And you sent this to her and her reaction was what? I don't know if she's gotten it yet. Oh, you just sent it to her. I just sent her. it to her, but I, I did it with you know, one of the lighter ghostings, and then uh -huh. I put a gold ink on there with flourishes because and whatnot. Because doesn't that say France? It does. Yes. Right? Suminagachi. Somehow yes. Japanese says French. <laughs> I don't know what we're saying. Now we're just talking in gibberish. This was so cool and so fun. So again, if you did it smaller scale, so a lot of people might not have the space to pull this off with little hands around, skip the soap, but every, every other process step stays the same. Yes. <gasps> yeah. You're my new favorite friend. You're my coolest favorite friend. We can friend. be pen pals. They, can we? Yeah. I would send you a Suminagachi card any day of the week. Awesome. This is so fun. Okay, you always have cool events and classes coming yes. up. What's happening at MelissaEsplin.com? I am teaching a workshop, a retreat, day-long workshop with Natalie Malin, watercolor artist. Yes, we know and love her. On the, the 16th of September. You two are a magic duo. That's fun. Right? Watercolor and calligraphy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a match made in heaven. They belong together. Yes. All right. So, um, yeah, all-day retreat, lunch, snacks. It's just going to be like a fun day to practice and we're doing all new techniques and we so. can sign up online yes you can Great. sign up online Melissa, this yep. was so fun thank you so much sumo now you know hey coming up